it's one of those moments where it's almost, uh, it feels surreal. Blue will drop back to pass. You never really know if you're going to use a Hail Mary type play, but you prepare for every situation, especially in the playoffs. Into the end zone. Lots of bodies over there, and it's caught for a touchdown. The miracle continues. Travis Blue All of a sudden, it's deathly silent, and no one's doing anything. I thought the emotion was and the, and the momentum was in our favor going into overtime. Wide side, too, as they empty the backfield. Durant throws, pass inside complete. I'm just like, make the tackle, you know, get them down. Claremont towards the end zone, touchdown, Riders, and Saskatchewan wins as the final Geiger in the heart of the BC Lions. Your season's over, you don't have another opportunity to play the next week, and um, it was it was just, it was a crushing loss. From miracle to defeat, this is how the 2010 season ends for the BC Lions leaving this group questioning whether they can ever gel as a team. The 2011 season begins with promise in Vancouver. With BC Place in the midst of a transformation, it will host the Grey Cup in November. And the Lions are well aware. That's a rare opportunity to, to get to play a Grey Cup in your home city. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's one that is, is within our reach. It's the curtain raiser for the 2011 Canadian Football League season from the home of the Grey Cup champions. But right from the season kickoff, the Lions make a Grey Cup appearance seem like a delusional dream. And puts it down. This is going to miss. That is a play that G. Roy Simon makes in his sleep. Rowan two, we don't want to fall to one three. And you start thinking like that, and it puts you a little bit behind the eight ball. And BC Lions completely demoralized. A penalty is declined. Game over. Game is over. Although we were a close knit group, we weren't a team yet. We we didn't know how to win as a team. There was times where you felt that we were never going to get out of this hole. Hopefully, uh, this is rock bottom for all of us. Before we knew it, uh, we were 0 5 before we really knew what hit us. The BC Lions off to their worst start since 1996 at 0 5. It was obvious that the team needed help. Help arrives as Wally Buono rolls the dice, acquiring the talented, yet always controversial, Arland Bruce. Well, they got a penalty on this uh, Spider-Man, Chad Johnson of the Canadian Football League. And oh, here it is. No Spider-Man anymore. He's now the president. <laughs> I don't care what he does, you know, necessarily in the locker room as long as it's not being a cancer. As long as he can help us win, um, that was my main concern. I wanted to show the team in the locker room that, hey, I'm about business. Anything else you heard that's, that has nothing to do, I come to work every day. You know, you put me on your team, good things going to happen. Guarantee that. And in only his second game, Bruce's words turn out to be prophetic. Tyler Bruce has his second touchdown of the night. The biggest thing that he's brought to us is just a level of confidence. Arlen made us better than many got here. Bruce leads BC to its second win and a turning point in the team season. The confidence started turning. I think that's when we finally started to gel as a team. The incredible turnaround continues. The Lions are rolling. They've won four straight. The confidence level went out the roof. The camaraderie got stronger and stronger. The BC Lions have reeled off five straight wins. Their amazing streak continues into a new era. Below the open air of a revamped BC place in week 14. And it didn't stop there.
When the ride halts with a loss in week 17, the Lions had won eight straight, a miraculous run that propelled them from 0-5 to first place in the West. You start building that confidence, and the next thing you know, you're on the same momentum that took you down is, is the same momentum that's going to pull you out of there. Week 19, the first place Lions need a win against the two-time defending champion Montreal Alouettes to secure top spot in the West. Congratulations on two-time defending champs and things like that, but uh, it's a new year. We knew we were going to win. It was just a matter of how much we were going to win by. Before you know it, you know, we had 21 points and 27 points, and, and it just kept piling up. It's done. Rolling Waters, BC Lions, are first in the West. The win is definitive and the dream of hosting the Grey Cup is suddenly far from delusional. The West Final, when the journey continues. After a dreadful 0-5 start that had many wondering if a complete rebuild was in order, the Lions got red hot, reeled off 11 wins their final 13 games, and today play host to the Western Final. November 20th and the Lions enter BC Place loose and confident. Game day, baby, game day. Look good, play good. Their horrid start, now a distant memory. I can't even remember the 05 start. We've been in the playoffs for 12, 13 weeks. It will do or die. Standing in their way, the Edmonton Eskimos, led by charismatic rookie head coach, Gavis Reed. You know, the good thing about this whole thing is, is that they really, really, really are a little bit cocky. You didn't take any time off. I took my wife to Parksville and came back the next day. Coach, come on, you had a week. We're not that good. You got to be able to rest a little. I love this place. I love this place. Let's go. Moments before kickoff, the final words of inspiration can be heard in both locker rooms. You prepared your heart. You you prepared your mind, you prepared your body. You put yourself in this moment. Seize that moment. How do you do that? You go out and you play every play with a burning passion. Every play with a desire that says, I will not be beat. Guys, when this, when this year started, man, it was hard. It was rough. They didn't even count us in there. And since we went on the street, they still don't believe in us. But tonight, we're going to show these most the truth. The truth on three. One, two, three. Two. From the game's onset, Lions quarterback Travis Lule shows why he's the CFL's next great star. I call him 14, Mr. Lule. He's good at communicating with the receivers and good at communicating with the offense like a general. And in the second quarter, the general begins to march his troops. Right pass mark for Lule, Everton offside, free play for Lule. I saw Travis throw it up. So I just wanted to, you know, throw my hands up at the last second. He threw his hand up. He did the old Randy Moss, threw a hand in the air, and so I knew he was, uh, you know, converting vertical. I let it fly. Goes down you know, for us as an offense, that was kind of the turning point, the thing that really, really got us going. Following the touchdown, Coach Reed tries to keep his team positive. Cover the inside breaking route. Hey, let's attack them. Attack them. Let's get up the field and play discipline. Let's go. We're the better team. But Reed's words can't stop the avalanche of momentum. Looking 
short side. Pass complete to Brown. Nate Harris makes the catch. Touchdown! Andrew Harris. Over 40,000 plus. And this stadium is rocking. Let's go, baby. Let's get this one. And the Lions are in control. BC 26. Edmonton 3. Here's the deal. I'm absolutely convinced that if we play smart football, guys, we're going to put ourselves in a position to win this game. We rode into this season together. We rode to the Great Cup together. We got three minutes. We got three minutes. Guys, we're about to make history. Second half, and Edmonton makes their first big play. but they immediately squandered the chance. Damn it! We're playing against ourselves! The boy is shook! The boy is shook right now! From there, the floodgates swing wide open. The boy's gonna run. They'll get the first down and more. I made one guy miss, kind of slipped out of a tackle, and then Harlan's block just, boom, happened right in front of my face. The only thing going through my mind at that point was, don't get caught. <laughs> you better run like crazy. Are you kidding me? 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown of Travis Lulay. Harlan Bruce destroyed the safety, Donovan Alexander. It's a great feeling. Uh, for, the, for the coaches and the, and the players on the sideline to say, man, that was a hell of a block. That happened because of you. Hey, that happened because of you, huh? That was nice. Bro. Hey, 14. That was nice, boy. Oh, that was cool. Edmonton attempts a late fourth quarter surge. But their deficit is simply too great. Four minutes left, bro. We west, we west and tenth. The BC Lions are headed to the Great Cup. An impressive win over the Edmonton Eskimos in the Western Final. Coach, you deserve everything. Good luck. Good luck. You guys deserve this one. The team did start 0-5, and, and now we're in a position to win a championship. And uh, that's what we play for. That's what we get up early in the morning. That's what we sacrifice our bodies for. Let me say it again, guys, right? Okay. Good people. Good things happen. We got good character people in this room. Man. This is why we are where we are. Okay, we are where we are because you earned it. And what a storybook year it has been for the BC Lions. Starting out 0 and 5, and it looked like they could do nothing right. And now it looked like they could do nothing wrong. The 99th Grey Cup. When the journey continues. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to the Great Cup game. We're at BC Place in Vancouver, and it is quite the palace here where the BC Lions and Winnipeg Blue Bombers are going to settle the championship for 2011. November 27th, the BC Lions are preparing for the biggest game of their lives. Each player feeling a wide array of emotions. When I arrived at the stadium, I could just feel the energy just growing, growing inside me. I felt very calm, much more calm before the game than I than I expected to. Man, I got a real emotional man, and I'm not an emotional being, but I was emotional this game. Their opponents are the upstart Winnipeg Blue Bombers, led by a brash and charismatic defense. Sweat, sweat. Swag, swag. Otherwise known as Swaggerville. This is what we're gonna do. Swaggerville Nation, y'all better be happy, because we're gonna end the drought. The drought is over, baby. Let's do it. The starting quarterbacks are familiar with each other. Buck Pierce and Travis Lule both entered the CFL together as members of the Lions. You know, if you're going to be playing against anybody, uh, it's exciting to be playing against, uh, you know, a, a good friend of yours and a guy you have a ton of respect for. Like you said, man, I'm proud of you. Appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Proud of you, bro. Keep it up. With kickoff now moments away, the excitement becomes palpable. Let's go. Let's 
done this all year long. You have gone into somebody else's house and taken care of business. Yes, sir. Must win at the line of scrimmage. Must win at the line of scrimmage. Yep. We talk about greatness and that we are not afraid to be great. We'll be the greatest of all time. Fine, guys. You know why? Let's go. Does it come around every day? Then let's climb the mountain. Let's go. Yeah! Let's go. Hey. Hey. to the 99's Grey Cup Championship game from BC Place Stadium in beautiful Vancouver, BC. Let's go. Hey, be special. Just you know, know what time it is. Be special. Be special. BC has won the toss. We'll take the ball. You want the ball. Marco Iannucci, Tim Brown back. The 99th Grey Cup game is underway from Vancouver. First quarter, the Lions grab the momentum, following the leadership of receiver G. Roy Simon. Don't miss if you're pressing now. <laughs> Don't miss. You know this 36-year-old slippery now. <laughs> hey, be patient. Hey, I know. Just, just be patient. Get what you can, and then you'll pop it. Inside hand But in the second quarter, BC's pass attack struggles with the relentless pressure of Javon Johnson and Swaggerville. Let's go! Come on, man! I think we were just trying to make the, the perfect throw, the perfect catch, run the perfect route. As this Lions offense continues to struggle. And Lule in his first great cup is showing maybe a little bit of nerves. Hey, hey, don't aim it, just let it go. Knocked down by Javon Johnson. No, sir! No, sir, boy! No, we here! It's the reason why I'm defensive player of the year. Cancel Christmas. There's Lula looking for Bruce on the corner. There's Alex Super to break it up. Uber does the all the blues yes, touchdown pose. People are going to talk if they make a play on you, you know, mock your pose. That was kind of funny to me that they did that. I didn't remember that. But the Lions defense picks up the slack, allowing only two field goals in the first half. Come on, D. Big stop here, D. They take a precarious 14 to 6 lead into halftime. Hey, we know it wasn't going to be easy, fellas. We know it wasn't going to be easy. Keep it going now. Second half is our half now. Y'all know what time it is? We gave them everything they had in the first half. Hey, care about you. Hey, you. you. Hey, let's, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Hey, let's go, baby. hey when the half? The second half, when the journey continues. Continues to show their swagger. That's why you was offside. Because you're talking too much. You're talking too much. Forty now. Johnson picks it up. It'll be no yards against BC. But Johnson gets away. Look up. Gets the corner to midfield. Javon Johnson to BC territory. Inside the forty. Still going all the way down to the thirty-yard line. Outstanding return for Javon Johnson. Come on. Yeah, how you like that? We're getting the ball rolling. Getting these wheels turning on this semi truck. With BC's lead down to five, Travis Lule's toughness is tested. Tries to run, he gets dragged out from behind. That'll be a horse collar, his legs come out. Yeah, and that stung him too. Travis Lule is slow to get up. 
as soon as he grabbed me, I just kind of, I, I went limp and kind of let him throw me to the ground and, and pop up. I just, I just didn't want to let on too much uh, that it was hurting a little bit. Lule grits through the pain, and with the bombers smelling blood, the young pivot fights back. Lule throwing deep downfield for Johnson behind coverage. Makes the catch to the point. Nice attack. It's gone. Touchdown, Lions. Plenty of time to throw for Travis Lule. He's taken some hits, but he gets the protection he needs to go deep. The game ain't over. Let's go. Fourth quarter and Winnipeg tries to steal the momentum. And backside screen is almost picked off by wow. Odell Willis, and he would have walked into the end zone. With the opportunity missed, Arland Bruce looks for payback. Deep drop, lots of time, goes to the end zone for Bruce, touchdown Lions. Arland Bruce makes the catch in front of Dion Beasley, and it's 30-9 to BC. He scored, and... I did the pose back on them, so, <laughs> gotcha. And the man who helped turn the Lions season around might have just sealed the deal. Come on now, let's go. Finish the game, let's finish the game. As the game nears its conclusion, a mentally exhausted G. Roy Simon realizes that his team's miracle season is now complete. And they Expired, and the BC Lions have completed one of the most improbable turnarounds in the history of the Canadian Football League. Ah! <laughs> we did it, boy! We did it! Come on, bring it on, baby! Bring it on, baby! Bring it on! It is my pleasure to present the 99th Grey Cup to your hometown BC Lions. Five means. 0 5 means you're not finished. 0 5 to win the Great Cup. Who does that? If you're going to start 0 5, that's the only way to finish it. Oh, man, this, this is amazing. It's amazing. Who would have ever believed it after that 0 5 start that this team could turn it around and become the 2000?